Footwear serve the purpose to protect the feet against adversities of the environment, usually regarding ground texture and temperature. Apart from that, footwear can also be used for fashion and adornment. And long time ago, footwear indicate the status or rank of the person within the social structure. Have you wondered how the footwear have been produced? Mandalay in Myanmar, also known as Burma, is popular with the making of slipper or sandal. The Burmese language is called as Hyat Penat. In Nan Win, quarter of Mandalay, you can witness the whole street of residential involved in the slipper making. It can be said that the making of the slippers, penat, in Myanmar already started in the past 60 years ago, and some say it was 100 years ago. Today, about 30 to 40 families still actively making the slipper to meet the demands of the locals and to support their livelihoods. In the street, we can spot people from various groups of ages working together to complete a pair of slippers. With a very skillful hand, they can produce about 500 pairs of slippers a day. Main raw materials for this footwear productions are cow and buffalo leather and rubber from the expired tire. Buffalo leather is thicker and the best one, but later slipper is made of the laterate material and covered with velvet. The color is usually either black or some are brown for the coated ones but can vary substantially for the velvet slippers. What's interesting about the slipper is that these slippers look very simple and worn by almost everybody in Myanmar. Myanmar slippers are incredibly comfortable and suitable to every aspect of Burmese life. People can take them off easily before visiting temples and making merry. From the making of slippers in Mandalay, Myanmar, we can learn our SDG 1, No Poverty, which by supporting local products, is it actually can sustain their livelihoods and provide job opportunities to them. SDG 12, Responsible Consumption and Production by make the best use of available resources in their country to produce some daily needs. Seeing them working together on the street might amaze us, but we also wish that SDG number 8, decent work and economic growth can be fulfilled by providing them with a comfortable working space for their well-being.